These are mechanics, these are techniques that you're learning. He said build up to the basics and then to the advanced. Basically what you're going to really do out the street. Basically, you're not going to do a whole lot of play. But it's good to have so much in your arsenal, in your repertoire. You know, that's why we go over techniques. You know, people might say, oh, you're not going to do that in the street. Well, you don't know what we're going to do in the street. But the idea is that the body registers that it to allow, the, to, it to allow yourself the body registers and having a lot of techniques with you is part of your training so that you can reinforce there's no thinking that you know I mean you you you, you want to that would be your intention but your perception is that one not one technique works all the time one knockout works all the time and it doesn't because the body the human body is a tremendous creation. It can take a lot of punishment. And that's why you gotta be able to, to be able to defend and hit in areas where the person can't build muscles. He can't build any protection protective shield over certain parts of the body. This is just not working. There's no muscles in the eyes. You know, in the throat and so forth. And other vital areas and nerve centers and things of that nature. But you got to be able to hit it at the right time, right place. It's like a button to a machine, shut it down. Okay? Now, we've been going over certain scenarios, you know, to put the certain pressures on you. Okay. Knife. You know, we, did, we dealt with the grab situation. In most cases, you know, a knife wielding person it's not going to telegraph, and in some cases, not, you know, like, in all cases, some people say, nobody's going to throw a knife like that. You don't know what people are going to do. I've seen people do all kinds of stuff. People say, they're not going to throw a punch people out. Yeah, I've seen people do that. I've, I've protected myself against people doing that. So you don't know what people are going to do. People like to, you know, uh, perceive what's going to happen in a fight. You don't know. Only Allah knows. And the, per the, 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 the point is, is that you do the best you can. Defend. So we defend against every situation, right? So, and we, we were dealing with grabbing and stabbing and so forth and grabbing and hitting. Now, now we, I, want, I want to put the pressure on you. I want to put, put the pressure and so, so when somebody, when somebody comes up, they want to take you out, they come in and they, that's how they come. And if somebody really wants to take you out, somebody's taking you out, he's gonna do that. See some of you doing this. Assassin move. This is not arms, right? Here. Hey, just move. Here. Come over here. I wash it. If they really want to take you out, okay? But my teacher always said there's no defense against the elements of pride. I always say there's a. There's an attitude to what he said. Yes. There's no surprise against this. He can't, you know, I touched him. Couldn't defend himself against that. I'm already, I'm already there. But this recovery, the possibility to recover, just because a person, a person doesn't have life in his hand. Only the creator, only Allah has life in his hand. You understand? So that means because he does this, that you're going to die. Right? Only Allah determines, only the Creator determines death. You can shoot a guy, you've heard a person getting shot, 
16 times there and live. People falling from high places. I've heard people, baby falling from, you know, stories, certain stories and live. So the situation doesn't determine life or death. No, not like that. Remember that. This is the spirit that we will operate under. So that means that what we, what we do there here is if you have the possibility of moving no matter how how much advantage your opponent has on you, if you have the possibility to recover from an attack, then you to do so. Rather than just give into it. So that's why we work the way we work. You know, people have people have this idea that technique and skills is their God. They've deified skills. They they put God like you know, uh, understanding and concepts and principles on their skills, on what they do. When you walk out the house, you say you want to go into the store. You don't know if you're going to get to that store. All you know is that you have in your mind, your intentions is to go to the store. In your mind, you're going to go to the store because in your mind, you, know, you already have figured out you're going to get some bread and some soap or whatever. You figured that out. But you didn't get there yet. That determining factor is with your creator. People have known to walk out the streets, go in some place, and boom, things happen. So always have that in mind, brothers and sisters, when you defend yourself. You don't put, you don't put your, your, your dependency on what knowledge you have. You just know that the knowledge is given to you and you're gonna do, use it the best to your ability. And you're going to use it in the right manner. And I'm always emphasizing, right? Be on the right side of an attack. Be on the right side of a fight. Okay, all right. So, the idea is that he's just going to rush up on me and, and he's going to stab me, whatever he's going to do from there with the knife. Hey, right. So, I could do this. I'm shot. I'm shocked, and I can paralyze because he got the best of me. But when we train, you know how we train. We train based on movements. Now I know what he's gonna. I don't. I I know he's gonna make a move, but I don't know what move he's gonna make. Right? I don't know if he's gonna stab me in the stomach, stab me in the chest, stab me in the neck, whatever. I'm gonna give him that. That's the way we train. But the rush is whenever you're ready. The, the rush is if I'm talking or I'm talking to somebody. See that? Now, this is not based on just skills. This is based on how my creator allows me to make moves, hopefully, that keeps me out of harm's way and gives me the advantage. So rather than not going straight in, because of what I'm allowed to do, the nature of my movement, and, I, and I'm saying that I see a movement and I see a hand. Now, I don't have to focus. It's my perception and my feeling. So once he did that, rather they go here, it slides up. Right. Now, my focus, because his focus, this is his God. The, the, the guy in the street, most of the time, he puts so much on this, the emphasis on this night. And I take advantage of that. I take advantage of it that he thinks this is his God. This is a false God, so to say. And I use that, I use that type, type of um, a, a term in respect or the analysis to show you that people do worship these things. Man, I'm telling you, I see it all day long. I hear it all day long. They worship themselves. How they think they are. Not me. I'm just a humble servant. I'm a slave. I'm a human being. I am not super. I'm not invincible. But I, I, I believe in the invincible creator. The infinite. So that's what my dependency is. And I have to emphasize that. You know, with the Muslims and the non Muslims. Because you guys, all you, everybody believes in the God. Right? And I emphasize that because I'm tired of hearing a lot of nonsense from people. And they don't have no idea. So here, you see, now, his, once I do this, his emphasis is on that weapon, right? So I'm taking that away, right? And see, now I just reverse it. I reverse it, and I control it from that particular point. 